Uh, my name is Kim Brewer. I um, attend Texas Women's University. This is my second year in the program. Um, these are pulp paintings. Um, I initially started doing these in a papermaking class last semester. I was introduced to the medium and just fell in love with it. Um, and as far as my work goes, I think that I was able to take these to a certain level that um, I wasn't able to um, previously. And that's just inherent in the medium. First, it's really a lot of prep. Um, the actual painting, it's just kind of a go, go, go. So, you know, you start and you're not finished until the piece is done and it's a one step kind of process. But all of the prep involves, you know, picking your color palette. Um, then you need to go ahead and dye all your colors, you know, so you add your retention agent and you have a ton of rinsing. Um, and then after that, if there are any subtle colors that I don't have in the palette, I'll usually either hand mix if I want kind of an aggregate um, type color palette in a smaller form, um, or I can mix specifically in a blender, just a smaller batch. And all of that happens as I'm going and working. Um, and then essentially you move it off to dry and cover the back in a screen and nail it in so that you don't get any warping. So that's generally the process. Uh, these are actually derived from um, my smaller portraits and the work itself has evolved from the idea, I was very interested in um, the mugshot as a form of documentation uh, really and the, the psychological tension that exists um, between the captor, you know, who's um, taking the portrait and, you know, the rawness and the openness of the individual in that situation um, and I think Historically, you know, we had rogues galleries and these types of things, and it was necessary at the time, but now it's really just kind of the first stage in the dehumanization process that goes on within the prison industrial complex. And so with these, I'm trying to, kind of trying to go into some of that tension and, and really explore it, but in a way that is delicate and aware